In years, Andreas Moser knows his BMW 3191 series inside and out. There were only 178 of this model built. Before that, there was a different model. It was a bit weaker in horsepower. That was the 3151. Daraus ist dann später dieser 2 liter motor This 2 liter engine was then developed from that engine and had 55 horsepower. And from that engine and that car, the 328 developed, based in part on racing and on the racing experiences that were also gained. Also typical for the BMW is the line of the BMW emblem, in combination with both so-called kidneys. In addition, on this car, the headlight glass is original, and that is all from before the war, so that there is also no reprieval test sticker on it. And with respect to the differences between the 315 and the 319, the essential thing, the key defining thing, is the engine. The 315 has 1,500 cubic centimeters and the 3191 has 1,900 cubic centimeters. Die hat man damals äh, im Endeffekt nicht benutzt. In addition, there is no heat in this car. They didn't install it at that time because there was no frost protection back then like we have today. So in winter, they had to let the water flow out of the engine. If you didn't do that, the engine block would freeze and that would destroy it. What is also very nice on this car is the open style with the so-called H-gears and I have already installed on my own board tool set in the car and these tools are mostly originals. Das ist zum größten Teil noch original erhalten. What is interesting on this car is also the lines. When you look at the car exactly from the side, the wheel boxes, as they are called, are covered for aerodynamic reasons, in order to avoid wind vortexes in the wheel wells. What is also interesting on the car is, earlier there were no lighting, so on the car, like today's cars, the car only had one stop light and one side light. Both of these lights have been slightly modified in this car for modern traffic, and they are placed on this car to function as a third brake light. And we have to put on two additional lights, positional lights, left and right, to get the car up to spec for today's modern traffic laws. There is no real roof on this car behind the section. There is a very small cover, but it's only an emergency roof. But it does not really protect the driver against strong rain. So you just have to wear the right clothes to be able to handle that. On the evening of the departure for Austria, Andreas noticed a problem during his test drive. He is attempting to locate the problem with his son, Alexander. I'm not really so sure. Uh, Alexander and I took it for a ride, and during our test drive, we heard some noise. And I can't really tell where the noises are coming from, but it came from the engine area, and I want to be sure that nothing is wrong. So I'm going to check the engine with Alexander. After a short investigation, the two of them discover the cause of the noise. Okay. The nut on the disc plate of the alternator came undone and disappeared during the trip. Andreas takes the alternator apart to check it, but he has to get a new nut at his friend's place. We won't be able to do it today, and it is also quite late in the evening, so I will drive over to see my friend and pick up the nut that he has for me, and then we will have to get up very early tomorrow so that we can get the car ready tomorrow, get it fully ready. Alexander will help me, of course. Because he restored the BMW himself, he knows every screw and every part on the car. This thing, the project, was a full restoration job because it was involved in an accident and a relatively large part of the car was damaged, so that the car had to be totally rebuilt. Restoring a car like this today is very time and energy intensive because we have to first get a picture here in Germany of the situation and also internationally of the parts situation. And we also then have to make contacts with various people in order to be able to get the right replacement parts.
Because the underbody sits on a wood frame, Andreas had to search for a long time to find a cartwright, an expert on bent wood. But working with the wood was not the hardest part for the restoration project. The most time and energy intensive part was rebuilding the engine. And the problem is that back when it was originally built, different bearing shells were used for the camshafts, and I didn't want to use any cast metal bearings anymore. And so I used more mud material, which is also better. The hard work on the engine and chassis has paid off. After about 14 hours of work, the BMW 3191 today looks almost like a new car, without looking over-restored. Today, the price for a well-restored BMW 3191 starts at about 230,000 euros.